here is you got your specialty sporting goods stores, you got Dick's Sporting Goods, you can always find whatever you want. And then you got maybe like a gym, uh, a local YMCA, you can hang out with your friends. But what if there was a place where you could merge the two together and maybe test out your items before you use them, um, meet new people, have some league play, mix between the two. I, I mean, I for one, I'm like, hey, I can't find something to do with my friends to do maybe on a Friday night. And there's nothing really active to do around our town because maybe in some of the winter months it's cold. And I want to maybe play soccer, play tennis, and I mean, if we don't have the equipment, we could just maybe borrow some there. It would be like a combination, and then we could buy equipment. And so the idea is a mix between the two. Uh, my mission statement, basically, I have everything you need for sports. So you got your experts, you have all the equipment, you have all the facilities. You've got everything you can need to have a good time. And we're going to have a small sporting goods store and a gym in the back, and there will be some league play to meet new people. It would be just a fun time. My target consumer is a, a young adult, maybe college age, high school, around that age. Um, we want to find lots of new, it's a nice place to be meet new people, and I mean, that's about what we're looking for. Um, Alright, so you're a young adult, you're going to probably be coming over here once or twice if you're in sports. We're going to have equipment for sale, you can test use, and this is why we are, have an advantage over other, other dick sporting goods, all these other places, because there's so much going on at the same time, and it'll fill a unique niche in the the business world because there aren't many places like this. There will be experts around for various sports which you can talk to, uh, learn which equipment you should buy, and then help them play. Like They can even improve, maybe coach you a little. And there will be a very variety of sports. Maybe Monday will be a certain sport, Tuesday will be a different one, and you'll get to know, like, oh, I know every Wednesday all the table tennis players are going to be there. So then every Wednesday I'm going to meet the same people and I'm going to really get to know them. So resources, we have a small gym, equipment, that's going to be a really high startup price. And then staffing, we have a manager, which I would fill the role of. Then we'd have custodial and then the experts in various sports. So we, the problem with placement, what we want our company to look at is we don't want it to be like very competitive and scare away all these people who've never played certain sports before, but at the same time, we want the people who are really good at these sports to show up. So what we could have is league play maybe, we have a competitive league, an uncompetitive league, we have a maybe a separation depending on what people want to do, and we just play it by ear basically. And we'd have for very intensity of sports, so that would be a little bit of a challenge, but I'm sure we could figure it out. So I also have this great idea for persuading people to come back to the store. And that would be a membership for using the gym. And to get a membership from the gym, you could buy an item of over $40 or more in value. So this would work really well. Say someone wants to get into baseball. They buy maybe a mitt and a bat, and that would be over $40, and they'd become a member from the gym automatically. Then they could come back and like play with the other people who have already purchased baseball items, and they'd really work out. So, or you could just use a flat $10 per month fee to use the gym, maybe walk around on the track or something. And that would, that would be the idea. And so now let's go into our financials. We have the revenue that basically explains itself. We have the cost. We are making about 10500 a month on the operational margin with the costs for everything included memberships. And for labor, we have four sports experts. We'd probably go on maybe a rotating basis. Maybe all the, the, the one sports expert would come in one day. Maybe he's an expert in tennis, another expert in some other sport, basketball. And then we pay them accordingly. Unskilled labor, you have your cashier, your janitor, just doing various things around them. Uh, calculate about $5,000. So our operational margin, we take off our cost of operation, and we will make about $60,000 a year. So 
now we're taking profit per year, startup expenses. I'm judging around six hundred thousand dollars for a gym, maybe. And after about one year, we'll be down a lot. After five years, we'll still be down a lot. After ten years, we'll be finally positive. And the thing is, though, I'm accounting for buying the entire land, so we could always be able to sell off the land and the facility for later, so we'd always have that asset with us. So even if it would only last five years and we get to make on three hundred dollars in debt, I'm sure that the land could we'd still we wouldn't be totally doomed. So there's many different ways we could expand this company. We could purchase an outdoor field, we could add more and more sports, we could just add a bar and grill. There's so many various things that we could go with this. We could look at other options, maybe like yoga or Pilates, something like that. I mean, whatever the people want, we can really offer because we have so much space and basically a various schedule. It's a very high risk though because there are really high startup costs. So, and it would take about five years to get our money back. I would not do this myself because I'm not much of a risk taker, but I'm sure it's a completely plausible option if you, this is something you'd really be entertained by. Is anyone, that's basically my presentation. Does anyone have any questions, comments, anything to add? I'm glad you're not gonna do it. <laughs> Why? I had a 10 year payback, that's just too long. Um, I'm glad well, you chose not to do it, you need to rent for two years. Yeah, I guess. How about your high school? <laughs> <laughs> Basketball, ping pong, I like ping pong. Cleaning or sit out.